Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is John. And I'm Candace. And God gave us a word for you guys today. Mm -hmm. And the scripture comes from Ephesians 527. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Christ died so that he could give the church to himself mm -hmm. like a bride in all her beauty. He died so that the church could be pure and without fault with no evil or sin or any other wrong thing in it. And Christ, he died for the church. Yes, he did. Jesus Christ got on that cross and he died on that cross and he was buried and then he was resurrected on the third day. Mm -hmm. And if you believe that in your heart and confess with your mouth, then you are saved. Jesus is married to the church. The church mm -hmm. is his bride. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. The church is his bride. Mm -hmm. Well, what is the church? Mm -hmm. The church is not the building. Everybody out there in the world, the church is not a building. Mm -hmm. no. What the church is, is all of us mm -hmm. born again in Jesus' name. Yes. That what is the church is. Right. That means that we all are different. We're different members right. that makes up the body, right. which is the church. One body, right. One body, one spirit. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's not where you go to to right. worship. You can worship at home. You can worship on your job. You can worship in your little secret closet room. And you can praise God all day, every day. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not against going to church. But we are against the fake uh uh, sheeps that's in wolf clothing. That's what we're against. Because you need to pray to God to find you a church that fits you. Yes. Because every church out there is not for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they don't go to church because they're so intimidated by the leadership mm -hmm. that's in that church. Let me give you an example. Like uh, my wife, Candace, was just telling me about a person that is a homosexual. And that person was going to this particular church. But the leadership, which starts with the pastor of that church, they, they judged him and they talked about him. And now he does not go to that church. Mm -hmm. But my advice to that person that you can have church at home mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can worship the Lord and you need to pray. If you feel like you have to go into that building that worship the Lord, pray for the right building. Yes, Pray, pray for, the, for right. the right building mm -hmm. to go into that church because God is going to hold that person, the leadership accountable mm -hmm. for teaching you wrong. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And because if you are a follower of Jesus, yes. then Jesus came to save the sick. Yes. You know, yes. the Pharisees, when they came, they came to condemn. They came to judge. Yes. They couldn't wait to do that. Yes. But Jesus said, wait, no, we're supposed to heal the yes. sick. So just like a doctor, when he yes. sees a patient yes. that yes. is hurting yes. and in pain, yes. they don't judge that patient. Yes. The doctor does what he can to try to heal that patient. Yes. Well, Jesus said we are doctors too. Doctors yes. of the heart, doctors of the spirit. Yes. We have come to heal heal your soul. That's right. So when we see someone do something, we're not supposed to judge or condemn. We're That's supposed right. to come with them with love and compassion. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's them. right. Because, you know, and uh, Candace mentioned love and compassion. Like, that's why we should walk in the spirit yes, yes. so we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. You walk in the spirit mm -hmm. so you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Meaning, 
This is what it means. When you walk in the spirit, then you experience the fruit of the spirit. Right. When you walk in the spirit, you will experience the fruit of the spirit. What is the fruit of the spirit? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, and self-control. When you see that come out of your mouth, mm -hmm. when you see that, and you, uh, if, when you feel that, mm -hmm. that means that you're walking in the spirit. That is the proof that you are walking in the spirit. If you do not feel those, and you feel right, right, anger, depression, right. strife, yes. envy, then yes. you're not walking in the spirit. Yes, yes, and, and 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 people don't know how to walk in the spirit because it was not taught to them right. correctly how to walk in the spirit. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like the scripture, my people are story because of lack of knowledge. God wants us to know what he's talking about in this word right here. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He wants us to know. But then God said, uh, 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 a preacher uh, cannot preach unless he has been sent mm -hmm. by the Lord. Yes. And you cannot hear the word without a preacher. Right. So when God picked the preacher, That's right. then you're going to get the right word. That's but right. you have a lot of people say, I'm a preacher now. Mm -hmm. But how do you know that you're a preacher? Did right. you hear the voice of God telling right. you that right. you're called? Right. Right. See, we have a right. lot of people out there perpetrating <laughs> in the church right now playing with God. And God, that's why he let that pandemic come out too. Because God wants the truth to come out now. Yeah. He don't want people to be playing with his children. Right, right. He want his folks in the building teaching his children. That's right. Because God said he wanted to save the sick. Yeah. Jesus came down to save the sick. Yes. So that's who need to go to the church. The people that are sick. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you know, people... They judge because you're homosexual. They judge because you're alcoholic. They judge because you kill folks. They judge because right. you rob and steal. But God sent Jesus down for every sin out there. Every sin. He died for every sin out there. Mm -hmm. So we must forgive them and we must teach them if we know the word correctly. Mm -hmm. And God is sick and tired of seeing these wolves in sheep clothing perpetrating his word because you cannot. This is the true living word. Mm -hmm. This word cuts like a two-edged sword. So if you're out there playing church, you better get yourself right with God and repent. And ask the Lord for forgiveness because God he is sick and tired of people playing with him and his word. And I'm just and and, and 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 it's Christmas now. Christmas is here now. They commercialize the holiday. Christmas is Jesus Christ's birthday. That's what we celebrate it as. We, it, it's about being a cheerful giver. It's about giving. Yeah. It's about uh, 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 celebrating His birth. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 but they commercialize Christmas. Mm -hmm. And and, 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 and and these children out here looking for presents and they're not going to even have any presents that day. Because what this world got away from is the true meaning of Christmas. Right. And that is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, right. Right. our right. Savior. Mm -hmm. And because they have gotten away yes. from the true meaning, that is why the suicide rate is the highest yes. near the holidays. Yes. Yes. You know, you turn on TV yes. and you hear all these holiday yes. songs and people laughing yes. and sharing. Yes. But that's not like that in your real life. Not like this that, is the saddest no. time of your life. Saddest time and of it's life. not helping you when people are just yes. focused on going to buy gifts and yes. they're focusing on themselves and meeting yes. with their family. What about you? Yes. You but, lonely. Yeah, you lost yeah. your parents. That's right. You know, That's right. That's you have right. depression. And you know, yes. you're supposed to be thinking of others. And if we focus yes. on the true meaning of Christmas, which yes. is the birth of Jesus Christ, right. then we would act as if Christ would act and we would think about our fellow yes. brothers and yes. fellow sisters. We, we would. We would. And, and, and you got a lot of poor children out there. They're not going to get no presents this year. Mm -hmm. Because they commercializing and they expecting to get presents, right. and 
you know, it's sad. The suicide rate is so high now. Every time this time of year, and you know, people that lost loved ones. Uh, you know, my wife, she lost her mom, and uh, I just want to just, you know, just, you know, if you lost somebody, just be there for them. You know what I'm saying? God said we supposed to grieve with the griever. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be there for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in this time, you know, people lost folks. And people, when this time comes, they commercialize it so much, they really get depressed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of suffering going on right now. Right. You know, it's a lot going on. So if you lost somebody, you know, get with some folks mm -hmm. that loves you. Get with some people that, that really truly love you. If you can't get with them, just... Just go to the Lord in your secret room. Go to the Lord wherever you worship and praise him at. Or if you don't know the Lord, get to know him. Because the Lord, he comfort us. You know, he is our provider. He's our he's omnipotent. He's all powerful. He's our Jehovah Jireh. All of that. Mm -hmm. So uh you need to seek him and ask the Lord, take this pain away. I know he's the only one that can do it. You know, he's the only one that can do it. You know, and, 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 and that's why, you know, God, he said, bad surroundings corrupt good habits. Get away from the bad surroundings so you can hear the voice of God. Rise above the negative noise so you can hear the voice of God. Because he's 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 our friend. He's our only friend. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, and like, if you go to him, then God will put you with the right people. That's right. That's right. And if you happen to be a person who is just truly blessed yes. internally and externally, yes. then it's your job to go spread that That's out right. to someone That's right. else. Give that to someone That's else. Right. Think about someone who yes. you might know who's in yes. need. It's your job. Yes. Don't just keep that in. God gave yes. it to you so that you can help bless his children. Yes. And uh, we're going to close now. Uh, we want to thank Pastor Quinn mm -hmm. to allow thank us to, to, to share uh, his platform. He, he put us you know, the Lord put us with Pastor Quinn a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Quinn, he loves the Lord. He's on fire for the Lord. And we just want to give him his flowers now. You know, he's going through some things, too. Uh, you know, uh, he lost his son. And uh, uh, we just want to say, Pastor Quinn, stay up. Keep God first, man. Keep doing what you're doing for the Lord, man. You know, we love you, brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, this concludes our message for the day. God bless you guys. God bless. See you later. Thank you, Minister John and Candace Young, for that beautiful sermon. Jesus said, I would destroy the temple and raise it in three days. The Pharisees thought he was talking about a building, but he was talking about his body. You are the true building of God. Let the church say, Amen.